Wow. Hello, you're watching How They Changed. Every once in a while, the perfect actress comes along for the right part, and TV history is made. That's how we always think of Valerie Harper, who was cast as Rhoda Morgenstern on The Mary Tyler Moore Show when she was relatively unknown as an actress. She made the part her own, changing the written villain Rhoda into Mary Richards' closest confidant, and she was rewarded by lines more tossed her way that definitely helped immortalize the snarky humor that led to the much-loved spin-off Rhoda. Before Harper became Rhoda, she was a studied dancer, and her historic path to stardom starts in Radio City Music Hall, sidesteps into Second City, and culminates in inspiring bouts of activism. All of this adds up to a special star whose endless pool of talents, whether she was doing a silly song and dance on The Muppet Show, or snagging multiple Emmy Awards for stealing scenes on our favorite TV shows. Her first paying job was dancing at Radio City Music Hall in 1956. After devoting her childhood to training as a dancer, Harper landed her first paying job as a replacement dancer in the Cour de Ballet at Radio City Music Hall, where the Rockettes were the headlining act. She was only 16 at the time. She beat out hundreds to become a dancer in Lil Abner on Broadway in 1958. In her biography, I, Rhoda, Harper describes the tryouts for the Broadway show Lil Abner as a cattle call, but she managed to beat out the others and led her role as a dancer through sheer athleticism. Her varied training as a dancer went beyond ballet, including jazz and even roller dancing. She says it better prepared her for Lil Abner's challenging physicality. Other Broadway casts she joined included Wildcat with Lucille Ball and Take Me Along. She toured with Second City soon after studying acting. When Harper was ready to move from dancing into acting, it didn't take long for her to be led to join Second City's cast. In the mid-60s, she joined Paul Sills' Storytellers and toured the country, quickly gaining attention as a stand-up performer and actress. Harper voiced characters for a Jewish comedy album. In 1966, Harper voiced various characters for the comedy LP When You're In Love, The Whole World Is Jewish. It was a sequel to You Don't Have To Be Jewish, a popular release from the previous year. Harper was brought on board after the actress from the first album, Arlene Galonka, who notably played Millie Hutchins on The Andy Griffith Show, could not return. Harper and Galonka were pals, and the latter recommended Harper as her replacement. She co-wrote an episode of Love, American Style. The sole screenwriting credit to Harper's name was a 1970 episode of Love, American Style that she co-wrote with her then-husband, Dick Schall. That episode, Love and the Visitor, had a pretty amusing premise. An anthropologist and an archaeologist find themselves in a love triangle with a gorilla. Mary Tyler Moore gave Harper some of her best jokes. In an interview with the Archive of American Television, Harper discussed working with actress Mary Tyler Moore on The Mary Tyler Moore Show. According to Harper, Moore would occasionally read her lines and hear them more as Rhoda lines giving away some of her best jokes and paving the way for Rhoda to grow as a character as beloved as Mary Richards. Of course, Rhoda went on to become a popular spin-off, and Harper won four Emmy Awards and one Golden Globe for her work as Rhoda. Despite her fame as Rhoda, Harper was nominated as New Female Star of the Year in 1974. Harper joined the cast of Freebie and the Bean, playing the Alan Arkins on-screen wife Consuelo. The cast was star-studded, with Arkin and Harper alongside James Caan and Loretta Swift, but it was Harper who stood out, nominated for a Golden Globe as New Female Star of the Year in 1974. 
despite how familiar her face had already become to fans of the Mary Tyler Moore show. Harper parodied Marilyn Monroe on The Muppet Show in 1976. Harper was one of the first guest stars featured in the original season of The Muppet Show in 1976, playing a character who dreams of being good enough for Broadway. Through a series of costume changes, Harper convinces Kermit she's got the stuff to make it, including a funny turn as a Marilyn Monroe type. She was awarded $1.4 million in her settlement with NBC over Valerie. In the mid-80s, Harper returned to TV to star in Valerie on NBC, but the network fired her after two seasons over an issue with her salary. As you learn further, Harper was very involved in fights for equal pay at the time. She sued NBC for breach of contract. During the court proceedings, the judge found that her claim was unfounded and dismissed it, but not before also noting that NBC had wrongfully fired Harper. For that, she was awarded $1.4 million. That's all facts and rumors for now. Leave a like, comment and send this video to your friends. Bye-bye, see you in the next episode.